Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. This is now the first part of the gameplay proper. The previous part was a prologue, so welcome back if you watch the prologue. Or welcome if you're skipping to this video. I'm going to start afresh because I've already started the game and uh, didn't intend to do the cassettes as a separate entity but uh, after I got about halfway through them and realized they were quite long decided to make the prologue a separate thing so we're going to start from scratch so that you can see the introductions let's jump in to the game ground zeros on normal our mission rescue Chico and Paz Okay, so there you go. Some more backstory. Bit of a brief intro. We're off. She told us everything. Don't worry, I kept my word. She didn't suffer long. Here. You earned it. How's it feel to play the traitor? No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Give my regards to your boss when you get home.
Ten days ago, we got reports that Pass was still alive. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Our friends at Cypher suspect Pass could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black site. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection of Mother Base has to be connected somehow. The timing's too perfect. The UN's nuclear inspection. My guess is they're trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Paz. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring him back alive. Enter the compound from the south cliff. Secure Chico and Paz, then report back from the rendezvous point. Send a chopper from across the Cuban border. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission meets backup is not an option. Fine. I like some alone time now and then.
Mission oh. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Before you go any further, use your binoculars to recon the area. Stay out of sight. Easier said than done. Well, we're in! I didn't want to do any talking throughout the introduction. Just let it play in all its splendour. Oh god. But there is one thing it's going to take some getting used to, and that's the voice of Snake. You know? It's just, just not the bloody same, is it? I'm sure we'll get used to it eventually. Anyway, so uh, yes, we are in. We are in, in, in. So I've had a bit of a play around with the key, so that I'm not just sort of fumbling around for the first ten minutes trying to figure out what to do. So um, this is our iDroid, aka map and objective screen, etc. If we tag enemies, they will stay on here. We're trying to get to here, I think. This is the transmission we intercepted. Chico's call for help. Snake, it's Chico. I need your help. Cypher's holding me on a U.S. military base in Gura. Classic tier two. We are at the precinct area on the coast. There are some cages to the east of a big building. East an old grassy facility. That's where we are. Help me, Snake. Their lives are in your hands. Get Chico and Pass out of there. <laughs> Their lives are in your hands. Just to put that extra bit of pressure on us, you know? If they die, it's your fault! Okay, so... Logs, fine. Can you select a landing zone? <laughs> Not ready for that yet. And these are all the tapes that I played in the prologue. Uh, they will be new again, so I'll just have to get rid of them all. Snake, you can... Things are proceeding, but... My cover is blown. Alright, so we can select the music that plays when we're in our mother base, and we can also select the music that comes when the helicopter arrives. We'll select that one. Excellent. So that is the old eye droid. Lovely. There's one more thing that I need to do, and I discovered this completely by accident. When I was playing around with the keys, your whole day you're going to prone, bring out your, we your weapon while crawling. You can move horizontally left or right. Yep. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. Yep, okay. So we can roll by holding the dash button while... And I did this a few times. And this happened. I initially thought that I'd set off an alarm, but uh, apparently we can collect XOF. these patches. He threw them out of the helicopter, they've probably scattered throughout the base, and I don't know if you get any sort of bonus or anything when you collect them all. I'll look out for them, but I'm not going to go hunting far and wide. I'm not a big collectible type person, I just like to get through the main story and and uh, that sort of thing, so but it was kind of interesting. We, we've got a Deadly weapon, a rifle, it's suppressed and there was a light on it. We'll turn the light off, it's supposed to be going in dark. We do have a non-lethal weapon, silent pistol, which is a uh, single shot suppressed tranquilizer handgun. You've got to manually reload or chamber each round, so it's quite slow, so you better not miss. And we've also got night vision. And we've got a hand grenade, a flare grenade, and a magazine which we can use to create a noise distraction. Which might be the most useful at the moment. And we're not supposed to be seen, so this is going to be a challenge for me. I usually am quite clumsy and blunderous when it comes to sneaking games. 
we'll, we'll roll with it. So the first job is to scout the base. What do you see? Press the call button to get more intel. And whilst you're in, whilst you're in the binoculars mode, you can use the L bumper. That's the refugee camp. I hear it's where they hold refugees from countries like Cuba and Haiti. To get intel on the various aspects of what you're looking at. Which could come in handy. An anti-air gun. A chopper's worst nightmare. So we're probably going to have to disable that before we can get out. Guard at that tower. Guard at that tower. There was a guard. Obviously I've just scouted the base already. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. One there, one there, and there was another one somewhere. Is that all of them? Did I attack this one? Yeah. Oh, one there. How is that? It's a truck. Think you can pull yourself up into the cargo bed. That's an AA gun. They're just as serious about their air defenses. So I've certainly got a lot more information this time than I did the first time. I didn't see that truck the first time. As I say, when I say first time, what I mean is obviously I've... Uh, I was getting accustomed to the controls, including the binoculars, so... I had a play scouting around, but trust me, this is blind. I haven't done anything beforehand. Haven't killed a soul just yet. That's going to soon change. Okay. I think I've scouted out enough. I'm going to equip my silent pistol and try and take out this guard that's got this tower here, first of all, I think. Now, I'm not sure if you put them to sleep, do they stay, to stay asleep indefinitely? Oh my god. That was far too close. Got quite a decent range as that thing. Are we going to get close enough to kill him? Or should we go a different way? Should we maybe land in over here somewhere? Don't know what the range of this thing is either. There's got to be a way up that thing. Is there a ladder or something we can climb up if we get close to it? Doesn't appear that... Yes, at the rear of it there's a ladder. If we can get close to it without him seeing us, we can climb up the ladder and take him down. So what we'll do is we'll wait for the turret light to come this way, and then when it goes back the other way, we'll stick to the face of this cliff, all these rocks, and move in for the stealth takedown. Hopefully without being seen. Right, let's go. To climb an obstacle, press the action button. Okay, so to climb we use Y. Oh, look at that. Can we go up the rocks and around the back? We might even have to kill him. There might be an alternative route to get to the to the base. OK. 
at this. In fact, even if we can go by without doing anything to him, I can't do that. I've got to have some action. There we go. I hit him on. Oh, that was a rubbish shot. There's a guard up there. I can if see you're that. Going to eliminate him. Use a gun. I know. I tried. Failed miserably. Woo! Yeah, I was asking the question. If we, how long does he stay asleep for? I wonder. Is there a time limit? That's a military four-wheel drive. I bet it can turn on a dime. Great stuff. That's all we need. Bloody jeeps. That, that light over there is a bit of a problem. Marker placed. Place a marker, just so that we get our bearings a little bit. Oh, it also shows you your footsteps, where you've been. Quite handy. I wonder if he carries anything, like ammunition or... I'm just going to climb up there. So if you hold B, you can pick him up and move him. Which will be helpful to... to to conceal bodies. Oh, here we go, you see. AM rifle, type 69. Okay. Here comes this Jeep. Oh no, this is a separate, this is a different truck. Whoa, 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 whoa where's it going? I can actually use this uh, flashlight as well. Okay, we're done. Proper snake style, just crawling along. I can still hear him snoring, all sleeping beauty up there. So there's a, pl there's a plethora of AA guns. I've got a feeling we're going to be cast with something to do with them in a due course before we get the helicopter. But we're going to continue on our way towards the marker. Now this, I, I'm trying to ascertain whether we should be going straight to the objective, whether we should be storming through this base, taking out anybody, we, everybody, everybody and anybody we can. You know, is, there is an element of open-worldness, I think, or exploration. But to be quite frank with you, why would I jeopardise the mission, purposely going around looking to put people out of their miseries, when I should really be now just going east to the old prison area. straight for my objective? You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. 
Yeah, there, there we are. That's right ahead of us. Um, have we got any items of cover? We've got the bit of cover there. No sign of any enemies. What's that? There's a tower over there, so there must be a man there. Take a good look at the enemy through your binoculars, and you can mark him. Marked yeah. enemies can be sensed when nearby, even if there's a wall between you and them. Oh, that's but good. But it only works if you stop and take the time to focus your attention. This helps you maintain situational awareness. Try oh. it. This is good for me, because I like to stop and take in my surroundings quite frequently, so... Uh, yes, this is very good. You get bonuses for stopping and... Taking the time to gather your situational awareness. Very nice indeed. We like that. Okay, so we've got a guard there. We could go on the roof over there if we wanted a better look, but and then maybe take these guards down from a distance with the advantage of height. Where is that light shining? Where does he shine that light? He shines that light in the middle of the damn road. He does move it. If we could make a beeline using them bushes, try to get underneath that tower again. But the trouble is we can't see behind it. We could be potentially putting ourselves into the open. I'm quite tempted, you know, to go onto that roof, get a better look at things. So I'm going to drop down here, if we can. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Open, boss. I love it. I love it. Stealth action. This was my first taste of stealth action back on the PS1. Right, let's go for it. Actually, can we go inside, I wonder? Holy... M oh my god. Stealth action? Not very stealthy, eh? That's a wise choice. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Maybe not wise, but well, we're here now. And uh, I have no idea what the range is of our pistol, but I'm going to try to take a pot shot at this guy here. I don't think we can reach him unless this crosshairs goes red. I'll try and move to the edge of the, the edge. Contact me if you need advice. I'm all right for now, thank you. I reckon our silenced pistol or our silenced rifle will probably pop him off from here. Oh, nice! You got him. You should move the bodies of enemies somewhere out of sight. Oh, look, our buddy over there's back awake, so it doesn't last indefinitely. You know, there is a limit to how long they stay asleep for. But if, as long as they stay asleep long enough for us to move past them. That's all we need. <coughs> right, we've got a guard here. Guard here, coughing and spluttering. Guard there. One, two... Where am I? One, two, him in the tower, him there.
Any more for any more? I don't think so. Where's he? It's flaming too close. Don't hit him in the head. Might take longer to put him to sleep. Or did I miss him? How on earth did I miss him? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just took a while. He's not in the line of sight of anybody that I can tell. But I'm gonna move in. I'm gonna move in here. I'm moving in, baby. Moving in. A little bit dangerous because um, we don't really have the best visual range on anything here. Kind of obstructed by tents. Ah! Uh oh. Well, this is what I meant. We're a little bit vulnerable. You know, I'm not anti-killing people, and I think if he wakes up it's going to cause us a lot of trouble, so he has to die. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. We might get bonuses for not killing anybody. I don't give a crap. I'll keep casualties to a minimum, but it's just too risky him waking up in what is a dangerous situation here. What we could do is we could throw a magazine and try and lure one of these guys out here. Or we could just go for a double a double takedown. When one of them turns their back, we move in. Headshot one of them. Headshot this guy. Headshot that guy. What's that over there? Uh oh. We've alerted the guy on the tower. People are probably coming here. Well, he's got his light over there, so while he's got his light over there, we could go and pop him off from this side. It's a bit far away. Sorry, night, 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 buddy. You're another one that's gonna have to die. 
Can't have you alerting anybody now, can we? <laughs> Off we go again. Doesn't appear to be anything in our way here. Commentator's curse strikes. Can't risk taking him down just yet either in case there's somebody in that little area down there that might be in might be in his line of sight. Stay nice and still. Nice and still. Where the hell is he going? Come on, move back inside wherever you came from. There he goes. It's a little bit more dangerous for us. I want to do a bit of CQC now. Cover attack, left trigger and right trigger whilst... Not sure how that works. Cover attack. Go to the edge of cover. I'll figure it out later. Yeah, I want to use. I wonder if we can do like a CQC takedown. But anyway, we'll go to this ridge here. And have a bit of a scout around. Got Mr. Man here. Anybody else? Nobody in the tower. Ah! Is that Chico? Ah! There's another one. Just the two guards here, I think. Now would be a good time to... Now would not be a good time to pop your head up. They've awoken over there. I'm beginning to think I should just stop putting them to sleep and just start killing them. Less chance of any anything going wrong. There's a guard over there. Can't pop my head up just yet, but there's a guard over there. Come on, but I know you walk this way eventually. You've popped your head outside once for a nosy. Why don't you go again? It's 
So if you've got any tips or hints, guys, as to what I can do to uh, take these people down more effectively, feel free to, to to leave a comment, of course, if there are any techniques that I should be utilising. Got ya. Bingo. Can I get this guy from here? Not really, I don't think. I'm moving in. Uh oh. That's the old prison area. The targets are there. Uh oh. How's he going? Can I shoot through the fence? I don't think so. been played here. How on earth do you get in here? door down there? Could be. Oh, yes it is, he just opened it. All quiet. Hey, did you see those guys' unit patch? Yeah, a uh, box facing right, right? That's it. You know, it looked just like it. You've seen it before? Where? I can't remember. I know it had a box in it too. Feel a little bit exposed here. Can't take them down when it's close together unless I get them quickly. And is this patch of grass enough to cover me? Go back inside, mate. Go back. Go back inside. You know you wanna. Come on, go back inside. Losing my patience here. I won't, <laughs> I won't get careless. Come too far to let that happen. Guard dogs on patrol. That might be just worth keeping an eye out for. Don't want to end up with rabies now, do we? Right, I think I'm going to have to take one of these guys down. He's, he's, he's doing my head in here. But if I get the one in the back first, then the one in the front.
I wonder if we can use a CQC takedown here. I'm going to try it on this guy. CQC takedown. Can we do it? Can we do something? CQC is effective for dealing with nearby enemies. Ooh! That answers that question. We can. Put him down. <laughs> I think we might have had to hold it rather than just press it. But anyway, he's out for the count. We shall move quickly inside. Go to our target and find out we are being played for a fool. What did I say I should be killing these guys? That just goes to show why, doesn't it? He's already awake. For God's sakes. Right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm sick of this crap. Any hope of a perfect score or a non-alert score is down the drain. Okay. They ain't waking up this time. on opening the door. Who is this? Is this the right person? Out too if you want, but just don't forget the targets. What, is he not the target? Oh, I don't think he's the right... don't think he's the right guy. Should we save him as well? Sorry buddy. You are not who I've come for. This is who I've come for. Chico. Chico. Is it being drugged? Chico, it's me. CQC, put him to sleep. Let's get him out of here quickly before the guard dogs come running. I got Chico. And boss. Not here. Are you sure? Pretty sure. 
Is Chico able to walk? No. Not gonna happen. You'll have to carry him out there. Okay, boss, change your plans. Haul Chico over to the rendezvous point. We'll get past his whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. Mission info has been updated. I've marked the RV on your map. Okay, now carry Chico there. The map Curry. has been updated. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you very much. 